Hi, this is Jamie Spiro from the Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania office of Cordell and Cordell, and I'm here to talk to you today about the modification and termination of post-divorce alimony. There are several circumstances under which a party might be able to modify or terminate a post-divorce alimony award. Uh, with respect to modification of alimony, oftentimes this depends on the individual jurisdiction um, in which you are paying alimony. There are some states that do not permit alimony to be modifiable in any way, shape, or form. There are other jurisdictions that uh, provide for alimony to be modified if there's a substantial change in circumstances. And this can be for reasons such as a loss or change in employment of either party, uh, a change in the health condition of either party, uh, additional household income in either party's home, uh, a change in extraordinary expenses, etc. Oftentimes, when you're negotiating a potential agreement for post-divorce alimony, you want to include in there specifics regarding whether this alimony that is agreed upon is modifiable upward, can it go down, uh, is the actual duration, the length of time that alimony is paid, is that actually modifiable or not. Um, you oftentimes will see agreements that say that the alimony cannot be modified upward, meaning it can't increase based on a change in circumstances. But in the event that someone becomes disabled or the person that is paying alimony loses their job through no fault of their own and can't find comparable employment to replace that income, then they have a right to petition the court for a, a downward modification of alimony. Um, another thing that you should be aware of is that uh, a modification of alimony does not happen automatically. In the majority of jurisdictions, you are required to file a petition with the court and have an actual hearing, at which time the court will determine if you are actually entitled to a reduction in alimony. So it does not happen automatically. Um, with respect to termination of alimony, um, generally speaking, alimony will terminate in the event that either party dies while it's being paid. Um, most jurisdictions also have a provision that in, if the receiving spouse cohabitates, then um, a person has an entitlement to petition the court for termination. Um, each jurisdiction has a different definition of what cohabitation actually means, and so you should check with an attorney located in your jurisdiction regarding what exactly cohabitation means there. Um, alimony post-divorce also typically terminates in the event of the remarriage of the receiving spouse. And again, keep in mind that termination of alimony does not automatically happen. You generally have to file a petition for termination with the court and potentially have a hearing in order for it to be determined that the alimony terminate for one of these reasons that I've just discussed. Uh, finally, it's also oftentimes a good practice to include in any settlement you're negotiating the circumstances under which the termination of alimony can occur and potentially a clause that requires the person receiving to notify the person paying if they remarry or if they cohabitate because oftentimes those parties no longer have contact post-divorce and so there's no way for the paying spouse to know that the other spouse is now cohabitating with someone or has remarried. This is Jamie Spiro with the Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania office of Cordell and Cordell and I thank you for listening to this brief video regarding the modification and termination of post-divorce alimony.